Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it's hard to believe we're on the last Sunday of November. So next time I talk to you, it'll be December. That's Christmas month. Well, let's get right to our weather this morning. Our weather is kind of complex. We have rather a gloomy looking shot from our sky cam at uh, Inverness this morning. Uh, looking a bit misty and uh, rain across the area on the order of a quarter of an inch so far. Uh, looks like the rain has stopped momentarily at Fayette, but you can see the streets are wet with the reflection, kind of a pretty reflection of the street lights uh, in the, in, on the wet street down there. The culprit for all of this is a combination of uh, factors, but uh, one of them is a cold front that is uh, moving through the Mississippi River Valley all the way from the Great Lakes, uh, stretching all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico, so quite a long front that we're dealing with. And above that, we see that we have a very intense, a very strong uh, trough with uh, high amplitude. That is stretching all the way from uh, Canada all the way down into northern Mexico, at least at the moment. Now, that trough is going to be changing as uh, as it moves into the Mississippi River Valley, and then it's going to uh, we're going to see a cutoff low. And that is going to keep us kind of cold and damp and whatever for the next several days. In the meantime, though, ahead of, as we noted yesterday, and you can see once again this morning, we have very warm temperatures surging ahead of that cold front with uh, morning lows here, or, you know, morning values in the 50s all the way up into the eastern Great Lakes. I'm sure that the folks in uh, western New York are, uh, you know, think that something strange is going on with temperatures that warm for this time of year. Across central Alabama, we're generally seeing our highs for the day. Uh, these lower 60 values uh, that you see across there, that's probably going to be our high for the day. So we, we will see temperatures falling uh, with the rain going on. We'll see temperatures uh, falling through the 50s. So we should stay pretty steady in the 50s for much of the day. There's a look at radar, and you can see that there, we have the front back along the Mississippi River. Uh, with uh, additional rain out ahead of it and, of course, uh, rain extending across much of uh, central Alabama uh, and uh, actually from uh, north to south all the way across Alabama from, from one end to the other. Rainfall amounts are still expected to be on the order of uh, one to two inches in the whole overall scheme of things, although now uh, suggesting perhaps a little bit less rain across uh, southwestern sections. But uh, I still think for most people, we're going to get a good uh, half to one inch for sure. And then uh, most people getting a little bit more than that. The Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking anything in the way of severe. And of course, we have been looking at the soundings and uh, Cape values. Uh, there's just not that much instability. So the result is that we're probably not going to hear thunder or uh, see any lightning, but uh, certainly nothing in the way of severe weather. The morning 06E GFS model running. Here's our map for today at midday, and you can see the precipitation. Um, we we will get a little bit of a break after the primarily wet all morning, and then we may get a little bit of a kind of a break for an hour or two, and then we get more rain during the afternoon hours. In the upper atmosphere, that uh, trough closes off uh, over the uh, Mississippi Arkansas area. Uh, from stretching from about oh, Hattiesburg up to uh, Jonesboro or so, and that uh, closes off. So that is going to keep things uh, rather unsettled for us, and uh, uh, the result is that with that cold core to that thing, uh, we could see especially probably more into Monday evening and then early Tuesday morning, we could see some uh, precipitation that is either a mixture or in the form of some snow, some light snow, snow showers, and while we might get some snow showers that give us a burst of snow, I doubt that we're going to see anything in the way of accumulation, maybe briefly, uh, because the ground is just so uh, so warm. Uh, the closed low heads on out on uh, Tuesday, and then uh, we see that that will eventually take most of the precipitation with it, but at least for, for uh, 
Uh, for Tuesday, we still have some wraparound moisture that we're dealing with. So once again, the possibility of a, of a little bit of a mixture and perhaps even, you know, a snow shower or two. Now let's take a look very quickly at the, the model soundings. Uh, and this is for uh, uh, 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Pardon me, 6 p.m. on Monday. And uh, you can see that we, we're dealing with a very shallow, warm layer, but very cold or, or, you know, below freezing above that. If we look down there at the at the very bottom, we'll zoom in here on that, and you can see that uh, it is uh, just a very, very, very shallow, warm layer. And if we get to uh, uh, 6 a.m. on Tuesday, you can see that pretty much that's wiped out. So I think uh, especially into the early morning hours of Tuesday and um, and then maybe even through noon or so, we've got the potential for uh, those showers, uh, snow showers and, and light snow to occur. Uh, so anyway, that takes us uh, through that snow event. So let's now move on to uh, Wednesday and the closed low uh, opens up and moves up in north of New England. But uh, we see a bit of a trough uh, that has developed behind it. And I think that'll be dry. Uh, still a possibility we may see a few clouds, but uh, otherwise I think it's going to be dry as the GFS is suggesting here with surface high pressure uh, just off to our west. We stay dry on Thursday, the 1st of December, but uh, relatively cool. That is, temperatures will be below where we normally are this time of year. Uh, another, another, and we, and we can see that uh, short wave around the western Great Lakes area. That short wave moves through quickly on Friday, and uh, this will give us another surge of, of cool air, but I don't think that we're going to see much again in the way of any significant precipitation. Um, at least I'm going to stay away from precipitation for now. We may see some clouds, and of course if you get clouds with some cool air, you may get a little bit of a spit or two, but the GFS is suggesting too that uh, there's not going to be that much to deal with. By Saturday, we can see that the, the shot of cold air is staying with us with a pretty good uh, uh, long wave trough position. And then we're dealing with that little closed low over uh, Southern California. Now that doesn't really affect us through the period. We can see that it stays there beginning to come out a little bit as the long wave trough position kind of adjusts a little bit and we stay dry as we come under a weak ridging here on, uh, on uh, Sunday. And then uh, we're going to extend out here into uh, the voodoo country and this is the 6th of December or Tuesday and we can see that the closed low is coming out of uh, Southern California across uh, Texas and this poses an interesting forecast problem. Now we're in voodoo country so we can't deal really with some of the specifics but it certainly presents an interesting uh, problem here with some cold air lurking just north of us uh, around the Tennessee Kentucky line and then we've got this moisture coming out of uh, the, the southern reaches here coming across from the Pacific. Um, you know, that uh, we're going to have to watch this one. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and then by the time we get to the 10th, uh, we still got the long wave trough position pretty much over the, the central part of the country. And then by the end of the period, you can see that it's still looking, got that cold look to it. So uh, just... Looks like the GFS is suggesting for voodoo country that we will see some cold air. Well, that'll do it for this Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next one first thing on Monday morning. And in the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest weather information as we watch this whole scenario unfold. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.